continent of America. It's, it's very possible. What do you make of the fact that British politicians are coming to America to support Kamala Harris? Well, there's some crazy guy in charge now in Britain, so I'm not surprised that uh, she's doing that. But this is all her last ditch attempt to try to get support. She's going to everyone and anyone who will support her. She knows that people are getting smart. They're waking up instead of being woke. Big difference. I laugh at it. They have no business mixing into our oh, politics you know, the same way we have no business mixing to their politics. Hey, they have to do what they have to do, you know. It's politics. It's politics. You know, and everybody has to do what they feel is right. And what do you make of the fact that British politicians are coming to America to support well, Britain, the mother I mean, the whole of Europe is, is the leftist uh, era. I mean, it's the... The Labour Party, you have to wait on lines to get medical care in England. So it's, I don't want that system. We have a great system. It's done well for my family over the last 200 years. I want to keep our system and not adopt the British system, which has not worked, and particularly in medical care. They should not be doing that. You know, they should they're not be involved in our politics. They're misguided. We're not involved with their politics. But this is the Liberal government. The fact that British politicians are coming to America to support Kamala Harris. Well, this it's very early, but he's popular, and I'll be seeing him, and I'll send you a re Keir Starmer, leader of the UK's Labour Party, has recently faced intense criticism following actions that have sparked controversy both at home and abroad. His latest decisions have not only attracted scrutiny in Britain, but have also raised concerns in the United States, drawing widespread attention and fueling debate on both sides of the Atlantic. Keir Starmer, our Prime Minister, never, uh, never, never, never puts a foot right. Uh, what began as a show of support by Keir Starmer for a political ally in the U.S. has now turned into a high-stakes move that could impact UK-U.S. relations. The issue? Starmer and several British politicians are openly backing U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and her Democratic Party as they prepare for the upcoming presidential election. But this support comes with complications. There's a fine line between expressing solidarity and actively engaging in another nation's political scene. This brings up key questions. Is it legal for foreign politicians to get involved in U.S. election campaigns? And is Starmer seriously considering sending members of the Labour Party to the U.S. to assist the Democrats? Today, we'll explore these concerns and the wider implications for international politics. I mean, it's the, the Labour Party. You have to wait on lines to get medical care in England. So it's I don't want that system. We have a great system. It's done well for my family over the last 200 years. I want to keep our system and not adopt the British system, which has not worked, and particularly in medical. What could this mean for the special relationship between the UK and the US? Many argue that Starmer's actions could be risky missteps. Recently, reports have emerged that several British politicians, mostly from the Labour Party, are planning trips to the U.S. to support Vice President Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party. This isn't just a goodwill gesture. It's being seen as an active attempt to influence the outcome of the next presidential election. Such direct involvement raises questions about the boundaries of international political support and could lead to tensions in the long-standing alliance between the UK and the US. I don't think anyone's gonna listen to what they have to say. <laughs> their own country has their own problems. You should solve those before they try and solve that. Kamala Harris is expected to be a key figure in the Democrats' push to retain the White House, especially in today's sharply divided US political climate. With British politicians now preparing to cross the Atlantic in support, it's clear this isn't just a friendly visit, it's a coordinated political effort. This level of involvement by British figures in American politics is raising eyebrows as it touches on sensitive ground. Typically, foreign politicians steer clear of influencing other nations' elections to remain neutral and avoid accusations of interference. However, Starmer and his colleagues don't seem overly concerned about these potential risks. Their visible support for Kamala Harris has led many to ask, why take this approach? Is Starmer seeking domestic gains by aligning with the Democrats, or is he risking diplomatic tensions with the U.S. for short-term political advantage?
This unfolding situation raises complex questions about the balance between transatlantic solidarity and respecting political boundaries. Is of, uh, you know, England, so, yeah. What do you make of the fact that British politicians are coming to America to support Kamala Harris in the election? I guess that's one of those that uh, we have influence from all parts of the world on our elections. You know, via lobbyists or via individuals. A key element of this controversy is the legality of foreign interference in U.S. elections. In the U.S., it's illegal for foreign individuals or entities to directly participate in or influence presidential campaigns, including through fundraising, canvassing, or any actions that might sway voters. The U.S. government has implemented strict regulations on foreign interference, particularly in light of heightened concerns about election meddling in recent years. This issue takes on even greater significance when foreign support targets an election involving a sitting U.S. president, such as Donald Trump. The Labor Party's actions could potentially breach U.S. law if their involvement crosses the line from mere support to active engagement. By sending Labor members to aid the Democrats, Starmer is treading on legally precarious ground. If American authorities were to interpret this as foreign interference, it could trigger legal repercussions or, at the very least, lead to significant political fallout, impacting the long-standing UK-US alliance and Starmer's own political standing. The Labour Party's head of operations posted online last week that nearly a 100 Labour Party staff, current and former, were heading to battleground states and said she had another 10 spots available, promising, we will sort your housing. Given the stakes of US elections and the intense global focus they attract, the potential for backlash here is real. With the U.S. placing a high priority on protecting its electoral integrity, any perceived foreign interference is likely to face scrutiny or even condemnation. So what exactly is Keir Starmer planning? According to reports, he intends to send over 100 Labour Party members to the U.S. to support the Democrats. This isn't a small, symbolic group, but a well-coordinated effort, with Labour members set to focus on crucial battleground states where Democratic support could be pivotal. Starmer's decision to mobilize such a large group has raised concerns both in the UK and among international relations experts closely monitoring the situation. Deploying 100 Labour members in a foreign election signals an unprecedented level of involvement for a British political party. Typically, British politicians limit their focus to domestic matters, and any involvement in foreign campaigns is usually minimal or purely symbolic. Yet, this move seems different. Starmer's plan appears far more intensive and direct than any previous gestures of solidarity with American allies. By dispatching Labour members to strategic U.S. states, the intention goes beyond offering moral support aiming instead to influence voter turnout through direct canvassing. This level of engagement risks crossing a line into active interference, prompting questions about the potential legal and diplomatic consequences of Starmer's strategy. Close links to parts of the Biden administration. Have you had any contact with the Trump team? Well, look, you're right, we do have close links with the Biden administration. That is very important to us. Um, particularly in terms of our history, our traditions and our values as a... Why would Starmer go to such lengths? Analysts suggest he may see aligning with the Democrats as a way to boost his international standing and build relationships that could serve him well if he becomes prime minister. However, this strategy carries risks. Many people in both the UK and US view such involvement as inappropriate and potentially damaging. By deploying Labour members to influence US elections, Starmer risks alienating British voters who believe his focus should remain on domestic issues. Furthermore, his actions could complicate Labour's relationship with US Republicans, especially if Donald Trump returns to the White House. Sophia Patel, Labour's head of operations, has become central to this controversy due to a LinkedIn post that revealed Labour's active involvement. In her post, Patel openly detailed the plan, writing, I have nearly 100 Labour Party staff, current and former, going to the U.S. in the next few weeks, heading to North Carolina, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. I have 10 spots available for anyone to head to the battleground state of North Carolina. We will sort out your housing. Email me if you're interested. 
This post has intensified the debate, as it shows Labour is not only sending members to the U.S., but is actively recruiting and organizing logistics like housing. Patel's phrasing, particularly, we will sort out your housing, points to a high level of planning and support from the Labour Party. This isn't a casual gesture. It's a coordinated effort to place Labour members in key states to directly assist Democratic campaigns. The explicit logistical support, from organizing volunteers to securing accommodation, underscores the depth of Labour's involvement, raising further questions about whether Starmer's strategy could ultimately backfire. Critics argue this could harm the UK's relationship with the US and expose Starmer to accusations of interference, potentially undermining his standing both at home and abroad. The US election is very close now. Your party has angered Donald Trump's campaign by volunteers going over to campaign for Kamala Harris. Are you worried that this will damage your relationship with a man who could become the next president? No. Uh, I've met Donald Trump. Um, he was good enough to come to New York when I was there a few weeks ago at the UN. He came up from Florida. We had dinner together. Um, our shared purpose was to ensure um, that we got to know each other, that we ensured that we had a good relationship between the two of us. And we uh, both achieved that, I think. Um, and that's important because the special relationship between the US and the UK uh, was forged in difficult circumstances historically. It's as important today as it's ever been. Patel's post has sparked debates around Labour's motivations and intentions in the US, with some critics arguing that this level of involvement crosses a critical line and could set a risky precedent for foreign political interference. By openly recruiting labor staff to influence another nation's election, Starmer's actions are seen by some as an unnecessary escalation. Others interpret it as a calculated attempt to build stronger ties with the Democratic Party, potentially with an eye on securing future American support. Labor's deep engagement in American politics raises concerns about the impact on the long-standing UK-US special relationship, a key aspect of British foreign policy that has historically offered both nations economic and diplomatic benefits. Directly involving Labour members in U.S. elections could jeopardize this relationship, particularly if American leaders perceive it as an attempt to meddle in their domestic politics. If Donald Trump or another Republican comes to power, they might view Labour's alignment with the Democrats as partisanship, making it more challenging for future U.K. governments to collaborate with a Republican-led administration. This risk extends beyond mere political friction. Diplomatic ties could be strained in crucial areas such as trade, defense, and intelligence sharing, all essential to the UK's international strategy. The timing is especially precarious, given the global climate where strong alliances are vital. If Labour's actions lead to a cooling of UK-US relations, the ripple effect could reach national security economic stability, and the UK's global standing. Any damage to this alliance would not just affect political connections, but could have real-world consequences that extend far beyond politics. At home, Keir Starmer's priorities are already under scrutiny. Many British citizens feel that his focus should be squarely on pressing domestic issues like pension reform, health care, and rising living costs. Critics argue that by channeling energy and resources into U.S. politics, Starmer is neglecting critical challenges within the U.K. This perception has led some to accuse Starmer of dragging the U.K. into a mess by aligning with foreign political agendas at a time when the country faces significant internal challenges. Starmer's approach thus risks creating discontent among British voters who are concerned that he is overlooking national priorities. With rising domestic pressures, Labour's U.S. involvement might be perceived as a distraction, leaving Starmer open to accusations of misaligned priorities, especially if his American outreach fails to deliver tangible benefits for the U.K. By wading into U.S. politics, he could be not only risking his own standing, but also testing the resilience of the U.K.'s most valuable international relationship, with possible ramifications that extend far beyond the electoral cycle. Um, and I'm absolutely committed uh, to that relationship. And of course, working with whoever the American people decided, not a long way off now, decide they want as their president. So you say you have a good relationship. Have you called him to smooth things over? 
No, he's in the middle of a campaign. And also, I think we just need to get a little bit of perspective here. This is Labour Party members and staff uh, volunteering in their spare time in the election. It's happened every election. It happens across the world. Every political party um, has volunteers that go across the world in this way. There's nothing unusual, nothing that wasn't done in every other uh, election here. This is individuals in their spare time choosing to go and campaign. And that, that I think and hope, puts it in its proper perspective. British citizens are increasingly discontented with Keir Starmer's focus on foreign affairs, which many see as coming at the expense of urgent domestic concerns like pensions, rising inflation, and economic hardships. Starmer's perceived inaction or lack of meaningful reforms in these areas has led to growing disillusionment, with critics dismissing his promises as fake and accusing him of failing to deliver on commitments to improve life in the UK. This criticism is amplified by Starmer's apparent willingness to allocate resources and attention toward supporting the US Democrats rather than addressing British citizens' pressing needs. For many, this focus on establishing international alliances appears misaligned with the country's immediate challenges. Critics argue that his close engagement with U.S. politics, particularly with an intent to aid the Democrats, underscores a disconnect from the issues facing ordinary Britons. As a result, Starmer risks losing support among voters who view his international focus as out of touch with the realities of life in the U.K., the controversy also casts uncertainty over Starmer's future relationship with Donald Trump, especially if Trump either returns to power or remains an influential figure in U.S. politics. Starmer's overt support for Democratic figures, including Vice President Kamala Harris and other anti-Trump candidates, could have lasting repercussions. Political alliances often have long memories, and if Trump or his allies perceive Starmer's actions as antagonistic, it could lead to strained diplomatic ties between the UK and the US, should Starmer become prime minister. A tense relationship with Trump could make it harder for Starmer to negotiate favorable trade deals, participate in collaborative defense initiatives, or secure beneficial terms for the UK in international agreements. Given Trump's influence within the Republican Party, alienating him might also hinder Starmer's ability to work effectively with a large segment of American policymakers. On a broader level, Starmer's decision to openly back the Democrats may strain the Labor Party's long-term relationship with U.S. Republicans. In politics, maintaining relationships and flexibility is essential, but this overt support for the Democrats could lead to long-lasting rifts that complicate future engagements with Republican administrations. For Starmer and Labor, this means potentially jeopardizing productive working relationships with the GOP, limiting diplomatic options, and increasing the risk of partisan tensions. Starmer's approach could thus have a profound impact on the UK's diplomatic landscape. By focusing heavily on foreign support and political alliances, he risks losing trust among British voters, while also complicating potential partnerships with US leaders across the aisle. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. You can watch more videos from us here.